this is Starla with Icon Pareto. In this edition of Pareto TV, we're going to show you how to use your tablet PC. Regardless of the brand, as long as you're using a Microsoft operating system, such as Windows, Vista, or XP, you will still have the same basic functions. First off, let's talk about the pen. All pens have the same general functions, with a button on the side. You use your pen just as you would a mouse, by hovering over the screen to move your cursor. One tap of the screen with your pen is your left click, two taps is a double click, and holding down that button on the side is your right click. You can also right click by holding down the pen to the screen for a few seconds. Now that you've got an understanding of how to use your pen, let's start converting our handwriting into text. I'm going to start off by opening Microsoft Word. When you hover your pen over a blinking cursor, you should see a little orange box with a keyboard in the middle. Tapping on that box brings up the writing pad. If you pull your pen away from the screen, this box should disappear. If this is too bothersome for you, you can also click on the same keyboard icon down in the left corner of your screen. This will keep the box open on the bottom of your screen until you close it. Over on the left side of this box, there are three functions of this tool. The first is the writing pad, which is what we are on now. The second would be your character pad. And the third, your on-screen keyboard. Let's start on the first one, the writing pad. This mode typically likes cursive better than print, so let's write a sentence in cursive. Today, will be my first attempt at handwriting recognition. Now my first word today is in lowercase, but I meant it to be in capital, so I will click on the word today. And if that is not what I wanted to type, here along the bottom is a list of words that I might have meant. And there is my capital today. Clicking on that automatically corrects it for me. I'll click on attempts. And again, along the bottom, the words I might have meant. But I'm going to show you a different way. You can also go up to the character pad and push the drop down box to choose a different letter or delete the letter. Click OK, and that corrects it for me. Another way to delete would be to draw a straight line back and forth over the word about three or four times, and then rewrite it. And I'll correct this word. There it is. And insert this into my Word document. On your right, you have the basic keyboard functions, backspace, delete, tab, enter, your spacebar, number, which brings up a box of numbers, and symbol, which brings up quite a few symbols for you to choose from, and your left and right arrows. You also have the ability to turn your speech into text, if available, and your help buttons including your help topic and your tutorial. The second function is the character pad. Here you have the ability to write in the words one letter at a time. Again, this function prefers cursive, so I'm going to write the word love. My V was not recognized, so I'll click on the drop down box beneath it and choose the correct letter. and I'll insert that into my Word document. The character pad also has the basic keyboard functions on the right. The third function is the on-screen keyboard, and that's exactly what it is, an on-screen keyboard. Here you have your full keyboard with caps lock, shift, control, alt, and it also has an at button for easy email writing. This keyboard function is probably the best way to type in your passwords correctly to avoid any errors.
Let's practice writing a short letter using our writing pad. You can move the box around the screen in order to see your page better by dragging it by these dots. I'll move it up to the top and start writing our letter. Dear Miss Stanley, Notice it recognizes my punctuation with my comma there. And I'll add a dot. Please find my resume attached. Now notice please didn't do correctly, so I'm going to add an L right there in the middle. Click OK. Add a period and insert into my Word document. And on to my next sentence. I look forward to meeting with you on Thursday. You can also write over the existing letters here to put the correct letter. I'm going to correct with and down at the bottom it has the correct one and insert that into my Word document. Now I'm going to press enter to move the cursor down. Sincerely. Mr. John Doe. If you are interested in purchasing a tablet PC, check out our website at iconparado.com for a full listing of the best tablet PCs on the market. And check back for more videos on how to use your tablet PC, how to use tablet-specific programs, and other instructional videos from Pareto TV.